Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about perfumes that you can wear when you feel like you need a hug or when you feel like you need a little bit of comfort. All of us have been there where we've had a really rotten day or we're feeling a little bit lonely or just stressed out or anxious or whatever the case is. Life is not perfect. We don't always feel like wearing a glamorous, happy, bubbly perfume. And sometimes when you go to bed at night you need something to help you relax or you just want to wear something that makes you feel comforted. So these are five great perfume recommendations for that and if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Alithia and on this channel we talk mostly about perfumes so if that is your thing make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video and feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already where I share a lot of outfits of the day scents of the day home decor minimalism decluttering and of course a ton of perfume related content and with that out of the way let's get started in today's video so you guys, before we get into the perfumes, I do want to give you three of my own personal tips for combating stress and anxiety and also if you feel like you just need a little bit of an instant mood booster. So if you're not interested in these tips, I will put a timestamp down below and you can head on over to the perfumes. But if you are interested, then stay tuned and we'll just quickly get these three tips out of the way. So tip number one is to get yourself a plant. So this is a very cheap and affordable instant mood booster. Most of us have a place where we can go and get a cheap little plant to put on our nightstand or in our kitchen. And it's amazing how much a plant can elevate your mood. This little guy I got from Walmart for $5 and I absolutely love him. He has these little fat leaves on him and it almost looks like he has a little head of hair. He's super cute. And I also have a Monstera in my kitchen. And these are the only two plants that I have but there's something about seeing my plant every morning when I'm sitting there having breakfast that brings me instant comfort and instant stress relief. I recommend putting a plant in your bedroom if you can because they are great air purifiers and it feels amazing to fall asleep next to a plant and wake up with the sun shining or even on a rainy day and look over and see a plant beside you. There's just something about it that helps you wake up on the right side of the bed. My next recommendation is to get yourself a salt lamp. So salt lamps are said to have a lot of benefits. I don't know how much scientific proof there is to their benefits. They're said to help purify the air and help get rid of negative energies. So of course, I think a lot of this is mind over matter, but you guys, your mind is the most powerful thing that you have. So if you believe that your salt lamp is helping you feel better, it probably will help you feel better. <laughs> I've always had a salt lamp and I really like this little one because it's dimmable. So I put it on at night when I'm about to go to bed and I I put it on the lowest setting so it doesn't emit a lot of light but it still gives me that sort of calming orange glow and sometimes I will even leave my salt lamp on throughout the day after I've made my bed because I just feel like when I leave the room it's working in there to make my energies better <laughs> so that when I come back into my room and get ready for bed at night I feel like the air has been cleansed and purified if you guys are interested in a dimmable salt lamp I will try to find one and link it down below for you and my last instant mood booster is to do a little bit of decluttering. If you guys know me, it's no secret that I love to declutter. I declutter perfumes like crazy and I always spend time decluttering other parts of my life when it feels like I'm starting to accumulate too much. This is just something that happens because of human nature. You go to the store, you come home with a piece of decor you didn't really need, you get gifted things. Over time, things can pile up. And it is amazing how much better you feel when you actually just look around and ask yourself, what do I not need? what can I get rid of and as you can see removing one two or three items from a shelf can actually reduce your stress level significantly because visual clutter creates clutter in your mind as well and it makes you feel stressed and anxious even if you don't realize it so look around yourself and ask yourself what stuff do I have sitting around that literally just takes up room and collects dust and is something for me to maintain and do a little declutter I do a little bit of decluttering every single day it sounds crazy but I can always find something to declutter and I always feel a hundred times better when I do it. So you guys that is my last non-perfume tip and with those tips said now let's get into the perfumes that I feel would give you some comfort and also perfumes I love to wear to bed. Okay guys, so one of my favorite fragrances to wear to bed and one of the fragrances that I find to be the most relaxing is Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. So if you guys watch my channel, you already know that this is my favorite bedtime scent of all time. It probably has the biggest dent out of any bottle because I do wear this quite frequently. And there's something about this perfume that just really relaxes me. I love the way it smells. It smells very clean, very musky, very feminine, but it also has this very soothing lavender accord to it. 
The main notes that are in here are actually lavender, patchouli, and musk. This is a beautiful, sophisticated fragrance, and yeah, I absolutely love wearing this one to bed. I don't really wear it for daytime. I don't wear it for running errands, although you totally could do that. But there's something about this perfume that just really, really relaxes me, and I highly recommend it if you're looking for just a basic, clean, musky fragrance to wear to bed that's also very relaxing. The nice thing about this one too is that because it doesn't project a whole lot and it's not a beast fragrance, it's not going to give you a headache or anybody else who's around you, so it makes an excellent bedtime scent. So that is number one on my list of fragrances to wear when you feel like you need a hug or you just feel like you need some comfort. Sarah Jessica Parker, lovely. The next fragrance that I would recommend you to wear if you need some comfort is Replica Coffee Break. Now the main notes that are in here are lavender, coffee, and milk. There's also vanilla and benzoin, and you're probably going to notice a bit of a trend, which is that most of, actually I think every single fragrance I'm going to share with you today has a note of lavender. So lavender is already one of the most relaxing, comforting notes that you can find in a perfume, and I think that's what I enjoy so much about Coffee Break. So this is a sweet fragrance that kind of smells like a vanilla latte but with a little bit of lavender on top. It's a lovely fragrance. It's a little bit masculine. I think this would smell amazing on a man but I personally like to wear this one to bed and this has become one of my favorite bedtime fragrances along with Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. There's a little bit of a dint that you can see here and once I am done with this roller ball it's very likely that I might consider getting a full bottle just because I do find it so relaxing, so cozy, and it's a really good one to wear to bed. Another great one when you truly feel like you need a hug, and particularly a hug coming from a man. Because it does have that little bit of a masculine accord, it almost feels like you're getting a nice big bear hug from one of the men in your life. So absolutely love this one, Replica Coffee Break. The next fragrance that I would recommend you to wear if you feel like you need a hug is Zerjoff Lyra. So this fragrance, of course, is a little bit pricey, so probably not what you want to invest your money in if you're just looking for a comforting fragrance to wear around the house or to bed or when you feel like you just need a little bit of comfort. But you guys, this perfume truly, to me, feels extremely comforting. I told you the first time I talked about this perfume that when I wore this at home, I felt as though somebody had just wrapped me up in a big gourmand hug. It was incredibly cozy, incredibly comforting. You just feel enveloped in this warm gourmand embrace. It's probably one of the most comforting gourmand fragrances I've ever smelt. And the main notes that are in here are actually caramel, vanilla, and blood orange. There's also a little bit of a soft spiciness in the middle coming from some licorice and some cinnamon, but that soft spiciness is not overpowering. But what I get from this is really just a very soft, cozy, comforting vanilla and caramel. And you guys, you guessed it, there is also lavender in this perfume. Just a little bit of lavender in the opening. I don't really hear people talking about the lavender when they talk about this perfume because it's kind of in the background and it's just a supporting note, but you can kind of tell it's there. And I think that's what contributes to the comfort of this fragrance. So again, this is a great one for winter, cool weather, cozy nights in on the couch, cuddling with some of the someone that you care about, or if you just need something to make you feel cozy and smell delicious. Lyra from Zerjoff is a great one. The next one, you guys, is one that I absolutely love, and if you watch my channel, you know that this is one of my favorite perfumes, truly one of my favorite perfumes, and it's not just for being a celebrity perfume, it's one of my favorite perfumes in general. And this is actually a gourmand lavender fragrance. So this has a bit of zephyr and caramel and fig. It has a little bit of a salty accord, and of course it has lavender. So this, to me, I've told you guys before, feels like a boyfriend's t-shirt. You know when your boyfriend or any of the guys that you know wear a t-shirt and it smells a little bit like cologne and a little bit like musky skin, kind of that salty skin scent and a little bit sweet. That's what this smells like. And I absolutely love wearing this perfume for the evening, cuddling up on the couch. It's a great cuddling perfume. It's a great Netflix and chill kind of a perfume because it's not overpowering. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it, but nothing too much. And it kind of just smells like clean, sweet, gourmandy, salty skin with a lavender touch. It's amazing. It kind of has like a dryer sheet vibe. And I just absolutely love this perfume. I also find it very, very comforting. This one and Coffee Break are two of my favorite lavender kind of dominant perfumes that I've ever smelled. So this one is a great one if you're looking for a hug. It's also very affordable. This is Ariana Grande, R-E-M. 
And the last one on my list should not be surprising if you guys know anything about perfumes. This is Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. And this is, of course, a lavender vanilla scent. So keeping with the theme, it's no wonder, you guys, that all of my perfumes that have lavender in them are very, very comforting. So this is a very feminine, sophisticated fragrance, but it also has a comforting, familiar nature to it. I always tell people if you want to have that kind of comforting, familiar, feminine nature to you that maybe your mom would smell like or your aunt or your girlfriend or your wife or whoever that special lady in your life is, this gives you that feeling. If somebody was to hug you wearing this perfume, I think you would just melt. <laughs> I think you would be so comforted and just feeling warm and relaxed. It's such a beautiful perfume. This is not one that I wear to bed, but I actually have a good friend who wears this to bed all the time because she just loves it and she finds it so comforting. And I can totally see why. Personally, for myself, I like to wear this when I'm going to be spending time around my partner because I know that it smells feminine and beautiful and it's just a relaxing perfume that makes somebody want to get a little bit closer to you. So this one is amazing. If you were looking for a great bedtime scent, I would also suggest trying the Mon Guerlain Eau de Toilette because that one is just a little bit lighter and it might not stay around as long so it might be a great one to wear to bed it would also make you feel very clean and very fresh because it does have a little bit more of a freshness to it um, but this is a great one and that is the last one on my list you guys so that's it for today's video you guys I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these perfumes and on a more serious note I really appreciate all of you who DM me and who message me and tell me that my videos help them get through a hard time or people who write me and just say you know I'm going through something really rough and I just want to thank you for your videos it really does mean the world to me you guys so thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video bye for now Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off. I came here way too strong. Cannot keep.